Welcome guys, this is Shrikant here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create wave animation in Flutter. On the screen, we have a basic app loaded where we have some text on top of the screen with some logo and a container which is clipped to look like a wave. Let me go to this code. We have taken a stack and positioned two containers. Both are calling the bottom wave clipper, which means that they are clipped in the same way. So we can accept this size and then rest all is the same. Even though there are two containers, you are able to see it as a single container because both are clipped in the same way of same size. If you modify some value, for example, you will be able to see two containers. Okay, I am going to reset it. So now what I am going to do is I'm going to add some animation which will move one container to the left and one container to the right so that you will be able to experience a wave animation. For that I'm going to introduce an stateful widget with an animation controller. I have the code ready. I'm going to comment this code and then go to the bottom and enable the other where I have the animation code already written. So here what we are doing is we have given durations for 3 seconds and then status of animation is repeat and then an animation double value ranging between minus 500 to 0. So at any given point of time animation value will be somewhere between begin and end repetitively. You might be thinking that these keywords are slightly difficult to remember but don't worry about them you can use visual code intelligence to auto generate most of the code so let me show you how to auto generate it so i'll just go here just like i create stateless widget or stateful widget i'm going to click st and then select widget with flutter animation controller and then give my animation you can see most of the things are auto generated so here if you see my clip path we are passing the animation. My clip path is a stateless widget, but in order to use the animation value, we have to convert that into an animated widget. We comment out this code and then uncomment this line. So now we have converted into animated widget. So we need to use the animation value which is passed over there. So I'm going to declare the final animation double and then give a constructor this is the constructor for it so the reason why we have given super listenable is if you go to the animation widget code there you can see that listenable is required if you are not giving listenable value it will throw an error so now at this point we have animation available within my clip path as i said i'm going to move one container to the left and another container to the right so let me move the first one to the right. So I am giving animation dot value. You can see one of the animation, one of the container is already moving. So let me change this to left. And you can see both of them are moving in different directions repetitively. Since it is moving repetitively, we are able to see that wave effect. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.